All right, so hello all, hello traders, and uh, today we are going to learn a trading technique that offers you a high profit potential without spending too much money should things are getting wrong. Uh, this is a trading technique professional traders just love in Wall Street and they use it in any given day on any possible time frame. That means this setup, this technique, is suits both for day traders for swing trading uh, on a daily chart on a weekly chart on a five minutes chart or even on a one minute chart and i'm going to show you why i claim it to be the perfect reversal actually i think there is no better reversal than that now nr7 bars uh, are part of a larger category um, called narrow range bars or in short NRB. They are very popular candles when it comes to professional traders in Wall Street and you are going to find them all over on any any time frame. It does not matter if you are trading on one minute on or five minute charts assuming you are a day trader or trading on a daily or weekly chart if you are a swing trader. Narrow range patterns and in particular the NR4, narrow range 4 and NR7, narrow range 7 patterns are quite popular with short term traders. The philosophy behind the pattern is similar to the Bollinger Band Squeeze and we had once a webinar exactly on this technique on the Bollinger Band Squeeze if you were with us it was a couple of months ago you can find it uh, on our youtube channel and uh, th the philosophy is that volatility contraction is often followed by a volatility expansion so narrow range days or narrow range bars mark price contractions that often precede price expansions and this is what we want to um, uh, take advantage of. NRB does not, does not just signal me a momentum contraction and therefore I will expect to see an expansion in the momentum, but usually these bars have the capability to spot a change in the direction of the price action. So if the NRB comes after an up moment movement, an up movement, usually we will look to open a short position in expectation to see a drop in the stock price after this candle. And if we will get to the next uh, to the next slide, uh, we will see it uh, perfectly here on the slide. So if I have here this is an NR7 as you can see and we can just number uh, the bars uh, precede this, uh, th this low range bar. This is the first bar, second bar, third bar, fourth bar, fifth bar, sixth bar and seventh bar. By the way, as you can see, this is also an NRB and you know, it doesn't really matter if this is an NR7, NR6, NR5, you just need to understand the mechanics behind it and why it works so perfectly. So this is a perfect NR7, it comes after a, di a, a, a direction, a, a, it comes after a down movement and this bar we want to use as a buy signal. We want to buy after the breakout, after the, 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 the price starts to climb a higher. Um, conversely, if the NRB comes after a, sorry, um, this, is, this is the strategy for long. I talked about, um, about this one. All right, when we have an up uh, movement and then we spot an NR7, another NR7 at the top of uh, the movement and that signals me the price is actually at extreme and usually we are going to see the price moving downwards and we are going to take a sell break below the low of uh, this candle and conversely when we see an a, a down movement, uh, we, 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 we try to find to spot a low 
range bar like this NR7 and use it as a buy signal and often we are going to see a sharp movement above uh, above uh, this uh, above this candle so let's go to le let's go uh, to the strategy and uh, this strategy um, and I want firstly to just uh, show you how I use it uh, on the daily chart and then uh, we will move to the uh, intraday chart so let's start let, let's start with the days range with the day's range bar and and the day range bar is simply the difference between the high and the low so an nr4 pattern would be the narrowest range in four days while an nr7 would be the narrowest range in seven days it is a very short-term pattern designed to initiate a trade based on an opening range breakout so when we day trade daily nrb patterns we should find prior to the start of the day nrb pattern on the daily chart like the one we see on bmc uh, uh, right now on the presentation and uh, we should create a watch list a uh, fold with um fold with candidates optional candidates uh, at the start of the day an orb opening range breakout is just a technique to initiate a trade at the start of the day after we have a breakout of the first five minutes bar so so so, so if the uh, bmc sh uh, should be um my candidate as a swing trader i can just buy uh, i can just buy the stock when it goes when it climbs above the high of the last bar of the narrow range bar the nr7 in this case but if i'm going to day trade bmc based on the nr7 daily pattern i just want to keep my eyes on focused on the five minutes chart and then use the opening range breakout so i'm just letting the five minutes bar to complete and then i'm buying this chart this stock above the high of the five minutes bar um okay here on the here we have uh, uh, so just if we want to summarize uh, the strategy so the stock is trading a uh, lower at the end it creates an extreme thin range candle as we uh, as we saw as we saw here as we saw on the chart this is the narrow range bar then we just want to uh, initiate a buy stop a buy signal above the high or uh, above the high of the narrowest uh, of the nrb bar of the nrb and uh, and of course uh, and you know let's talk uh, for example uh, how how are we going to manage them so as short term as short term traders we also need to consider profit targets and stop losses a trader i worked with took profits quite quick usually at the close of the first trading day or uh, on the first profitable close again this is very short term oriented and might not be suitable for all traders but all of us are short term traders so this is one of the best technique we can use on any any chart Alternatively, profits can be taken near the next resistance level or a percentage target that you are um, placing in advance. For stops, traders can use a moving average to trail stops as the movement proceeds or base their stops on the average true range the atr for example the stop loss on a long position could be set to average true range values below current prices and uh, we can trail it uh, higher so just to make a recap of the of the bull signal recap we want to ad identify nr4 nr7 a day uh, usually we want on the intraday chart to use five minutes chart and to buy the ORB the opening range the the, the 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 opening breakout range that means above the high of the first five uh, minutes chart if we are swing trading we have just if we are swing traders we are just going to buy 
when the uh, when the price goes above the high of the uh, of the range of the NRB range, all right? And we want to set trading stop loss, uh, uh, set trading stop loss, and to trail them higher as long as the stock uh, proceed higher. Let's go to um to, to this short strategy and this is the same. The stock is trend, trending higher as we can see here. We can see on MCHP, this is the daily chart. We can see the stock is going from $30 to $34. So this is a very nice uh, upwards uh, movement uh, in, the, in the stock. Then uh, we want to spot an NRB, a narrow, uh, a ner an extreme thin range candle like the one uh, we can see here and by the way this is an nr7 this is the narrowest range bars within the last seven uh, days or last seven uh, bars here we are talking about uh, seven, uh, here we are talking about a uh, seven days all right and now we want to get short below the bottom of the candle if we are swing trading so just place a short signal a, a stop short a short stop below the low of uh, this uh, candle. If we are a uh, day traders and want to trade this daily pattern on an intraday chart, we are just using an ORB technique, opening, uh, opening breakdown range. And that means we are just going to sit down uh, with our arms crossed along the first five minutes um, action and then just to place a short sell below the low of the five minutes a bar and just to use any money management you you know and you are um, and you are operating on any other uh, on any other pattern to take profits uh, on this one all right um I want to I, I want to gear up and to get more specifically uh, how uh, because here r r right now we, we just focused on the daily chart. Let's move on uh, and spot these candles on an intraday chart. And uh, I, I want to walk you through an example uh, I took a couple of uh, months ago on a stock called NOAH and I think we can uh, we can get uh, and we, we can get from this uh, example lots of uh, lots of information so uh, as always I start with the weekly chart I want to see a broad range of uh, activity a broad range of action uh, in the in the in this issue and uh, on the weekly chart we can right now see from the start of the year huge a uh, huge upwards momentum this we have large candles a, a lot of energy is coming into uh, this chart this is just perfect these are the stocks uh, we want to trade and the stocks that brings us most of the money if you can uh, look uh, it started the year around five dollars per share and it went up almost to 20 dollars per share that means it it went up more than 400 percent four times its stock price uh, this uh, at the start of the year so this is just perfect this is where we want to find our opportunities let's say uh, drill down to the daily chart and uh, here are just I just placed a line on the high of the year. High of the year is 1860. And as you can see, uh, this is a very, very nice, a, a very, very nice uptrend. And uh, the stock is reaching its high. It's 52 weeks high going downwards a little bit. Then it comes back to this, um, to this resistance level, to the yearly resistance uh, level. And you know, lots of traders, uh, both swing traders and intraday day traders are looking at these kind of patterns because there is a lot of competition uh, on the breakout because if the stock is going to break out, everyone is going to, everyone wants to put their hands on, on the stock uh, so we can assume that once the stock is going to break out throughout the day then we are going to see a huge uh, a huge amount of energy coming into the stock now let's go to uh, the five minutes chart and and this is Noah on the uh, intraday chart 
and as you can see I just placed the yearly the yearly resistance the yearly high on the chart on the five minute chart set at 1861 here on this chart so the stock starts going upwards and uh, this is uh, great look how it's it, it contr uh, uh, how we have a contraction in the volatility right at the high of the year at 1861 now if you are not going to draw on your chart this very important resistance you are not going to understand what is going on behind uh, the curtain what is going on in the stock and why the movement why the upward movement is just stalling around a, a just below 1860 um, when we have three bars like this we call this pattern a bull a, a bull flag I don't want to get into this pattern because this is another this should be another lesson but this is a bull flag and usually um, this is a pattern we are going to we want to buy after we have a breakout now it's not just a bull flag this is only this is also an NRB an NR7 this is in the narrow range the narrowest range bars within the last seven bars now usually this bar ends a movement this is what nice about what nice about the nr7 the n uh, the, the nrb is that usually they have the capability they have the power uh, to spot a change in the direction of the price action so usually when i see this kind of bars it signals me the stock is going maybe going downwards but you know when um when when you are um when you are using this technique you want to go with the trend so although you can initiate a short position below the low of these bars you don't want to go against the trend so usually i want to find narrow range bars that are that that that, that are telling me that the um uh, that the secondary movement that the correction movement is off is finished and we are getting back to the larger movement to the larger uptrend all right and we will see it in a moment in a moment so from here the stock is going uh, upwards it's reaching a high of the day all right it's reaching a high of the day it's reaching a high of the day and uh, then we are seeing a correction movement all right so this is a retracement this is the pullback this is what I want to see because I want to find not the NR7 that, com that comes at the top of the range when I have a, such a nice uptrend I want to spot the NR7 after uh, to, 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 to give me a signal that the correction is finished is complete and the stock is about to reverse back to the upside back to the uptrend and I want to participate I want to be part of the larger uptrend all right so uh, here we can just go uh, uh, we have a buy signal above 1910 all right above 1910 uh, uh, the stop is here below the low of this bar 1905 so we are risking about five cents that's all that means if the stock is getting into action and it falls below 1905 you can also detach it and place it below the the, the round number 19 you are going to get it uh, you are going to get out pay attention but th th that because this is a reversal setup uh, what we are risking here is only one bar only one bar and the narrowest bar uh, attends all right the, the narrowest bar uh, in, in our view so uh, the risk here is very very low and uh, that, that gives us a setup that produces us very high uh, 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 very um high opportunity very a a, a great a great a great risk to reward ratio a very high risk to reward ratio all right so we are here 
we are in, in, in this trade after it uh, go, goes over 1910 uh, and, and 1910 and we are placing a stop below 1905. Let's move forward and see how we are going to manage it and for managing it, and this is our uh, buy stop, uh, I'm just using a, and I'll just tell you, uh, and I'll just uh, tell you about it uh, in very, very short because we've already walked through it in past webinars. I'm using what I call a dynamic stop and a dynamic stop. This is a money management technique uh, uh, I'm using as an exit strategy when the momentum is getting into a trade I'm taking and just follow this chart and see how on the five minutes chart after we are all already in this this stock we are starting to see the candles are getting bigger and bigger taller and taller and they are just uh, completing they are just ending at the top of the range all right so this tells me that there is a peak in the peak there is a pickup in the momentum or and also pick up in the uh, in the momentum this gives me the opportunity to use the dynamic stop the dynamic stops tells me to detach the stop loss set right now at 1905 and get it high take it higher below the low below the bottom of the last five minutes chart so as long as I have a uh, green bars and you know it doesn't mean if I it, it doesn't matter if I have green bars on red or red bars after the first uh, after the first momentum candle I'm just going to move my stop below the bottom of each bar as long as this sequence of higher uh, of higher bottomings are in place so as long as I have a candle that it's low it's bottom is higher than the last bar bottom I can just uh, put place a protective stop or let's call it a, 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 a profit target below the low of the bar if you are if you have a sharp eye you can see that at the top of the day we have here a narrow range bar all right another narrow range bar at the top of the day now this gives me as a trader a very clear signal that the momentum may be out of the way that we are at extreme and should the stock goes down right now below the low of the previous bar this is going to be my exit exit point and this is exactly what happened the stock goes below the previous bar low and this is our exit around 1960 so pay attention how we took uh, in uh, below 1970 sorry so pay attention how we took the whole movement here from 1910 to 19 uh, to 1970 that means we captured 60 cents movements while risking only 10 cents Per share and this is exactly what we wanted to do so let's look here on NOAH trading a summary uh, I designate uh, the difficulty level of this strategy as uh, easy risk per share was six cents here risk reward ratio was 10 to 1 that means any dollar you risked here you got out ten dollars profit uh, actually you translate you were able to translate through this uh, uh, through this pattern th through this setup uh, 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 any dollar dollar risked you invested in this uh, setup you got out of the profit machine of wall street ten dollars total profit was 60 cents per share and if we are translating it to a total profit on this trade on 500 shares you got out with 300 dollars profit on 1000 shares you got out with 600 dollars a, a profit and on 2000 shares you got out with 1200 dollars Per, uh, per uh, on on the whole uh, on the whole trade, uh, I'm going to take questions in uh, one minute. I just want uh, us, uh, I want you I to get trained on this uh, setup. So I just want you to go over with me on a couple of charts, and we will try to spot these setups, these uh, narrow range bars again. When I have uh, f first of all, I'm looking on the five minute chart, and I want to understand what is uh, the wh what is the direction what is the movement what is the trend right now an uptrend a downtrend 
This is very, very important for me because I don't want to take just any NRB, just N any NR7. I want to take the NR7 that tells me um, the correction, the pullback is out of the way and the stock is just on the verge of continuing the larger trend. I want to um, get back to just a jump on the train of the trend. So here we can see Apple a couple of days ago, I think it comes from uh, last week, a uh, five minutes chart. Here, by the way, uh, you can see, um, you can see an official trading signal in our room. And we took Apple for short below 95.21 with a stop at 95.40. That means we, we risked 19 cents per share. And here we have a circle. Uh, around this uh, 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 this candle. So as we can see, as we can see, we have here a, a very very clear downtrend. The stock, all it does is just going upwards a little bit. This is no more than a shallow pullback. By the way, look on the volume. How it the, the volume expands when we have uh, the red bars and how it's it's just contra uh, contracts when we see the volume just go down when we see here uh, the correction uh, upwards now here we have a pattern we call a hammer all right this is a japanese candlesticks uh, designated as a hammer but this is also an nrb this is the narrowest range bar within the last seven bars. So we are just placing a short, a sell stop below the low of this bar, 95.21 it should be, with a protective stop above 90, uh, 95.40. Uh, by the way, the spots you can see here, you can see here all, all kind of color, colored um, lines. These are um, the pivot points and we are going to discuss the pivot points in another uh, webinar. But uh, for the time being, just sh see how this N narrow range bars together, together with the hammer Japanese candlesticks, they are all together just at the resistance of the pivot point. Of course, this translated to a very, very um, sharp gains. As you can see, the stock goes here back to 94. That gives us more than $1 uh, on a only 20 cents risk. Another very high probability uh, a trade with high risk to reward ratio. Let's move on. Uh, to another to, 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 to another example on a BBG a uh, five minutes here on the opposite we can see BBG going on an uptrend this is a very very nice uptrend it's it's getting it's getting up to the R1 2012 the R1 is one of the nine levels that um, th 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 that are part of the pivot point system resistance and support uh, system which we are going to discuss uh, in another webinar as i said uh, on this on this level this is the high of the day the stock starts to take breath um to uh, you know to, to 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 take some breath to to rest a little bit and this is just a pullback a very shallow pullback should you you shouldn't get feed by this pullback no you should be uh, you you should be alarmed you should be uh, tuned you should be prepared to take any a uh, signal any buy signal you are going to have in order to jump on this uptrend train now right at the view up and we had a session about uh, the view up and this is a rising view up we can see couple of narrow range bars so not just they are signaling me signaling me that the pullback is over but they are also giving me a great opportunity to jump on this stock with a very low risk because on a reversal pattern, on a general reversal pattern, I'm risking only the range of the bar, but on the NRB, I'm risking a narrow range bar. So this is great. This is exactly what I'm looking for. So the entry here was around 1970 uh, with a stop at uh, 1965. We are risking here something like five cents, not just that the stock was able to complete the pattern and get back to the resistance at 2012, 
a, a furthermore it created here it completed here a pattern we called a cap and handle and a breakout uh, later this uh, th that day gave another 60 cents of a movement so actually uh, we have here a total movement of one dollar when risking five cents that gives you 20 to 1 risk to reward it doesn't it doesn't tell you that you are going to get you are going to capitalize on all of this 20 to 1 risk to reward ratio but this is you know this is an a, 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 enough in, in the enough field enough territory in order for you to cut your uh, uh, to cut your part to cut you a uh, part of uh, of the gains um I want to move on to, to, to um, a last example on a CRZO, five minutes, another stock, another day, another uptrend, great uptrend, uh, up to the highs, all right? Here we can see um, that uh, the start of this movement comes with WRB. Uh, the WRB are the opposite of the NRB. WRB stands for wide range bars. This is where all the momentum is getting into a motion and this movement ends with a narrow range bar now because this is an uptrend or at least up momentum uh, at least um it's an up momentum i don't want to go against the trend against this uh, sharp momentum therefore i'm not going to use it as a sell signal if i'm long this position because of this wrb or because any other uh, reason i'm going to use the nrb as a stop as a way to get out of this stock now watching this stock it's just starting here a pullback a very shallow pullback just also look uh, on the on, on the on, on the candles of the of the volume the volume in general is going downwards is not going uh, upwards when we have this uh, when we have this pullback and this pullback ends with two narrow range bars so these are great narrow range bars to get me back on this uh, great uptrend so the we are just going to get on this uh, stock above the high of the NRB around 50.40 with a stop just below this NRB that means 50.30 again you are going to risk very very small amount of money about 10 cents per share and from here we can see that um, the momentum gets back into uh, the stock it's going back upwards uh, when I see these momentum bars back on the stock, I can just uh, use as an exit strategy the dynamic stop once again. So uh, after this first bar, the first green bar, or after the second uh, green bar, I'm just placing a stop uh, below the low of uh, the last bar. Let's uh, put it here. All right. So this is the first stop. I'm taking my stop upwards and upwards until it get hit all right until it get hit and i'm out as you can see this bottoming tail this bottoming tail actually took me out uh, around 5140 so from 5030 i was able through the dynamic stop mechanism to take and to capitalize on all the movement up to 5140 this is for one point for one dollar and thirty cents that means you took 13 um a uh, 13 times the risk you invested into this trade and this is what i i, I call trading if you actually uh, risked 100 share 100 dollars on this uh, trade you actually was uh, uh, you actually pulled out of this stock 13 hundred dollars within 30 seconds this is what I call a uh, trading. I will give you an opportunity to ask questions in uh, one moment, but I just want to uh, summarize um, this, uh, this lesson by saying that if you liked this setup, I urge you to develop expertise using it. Trade only it for the next two weeks. Explore it. Open charts and find setups in recent days that you could have traded get professional using it become wizard with using it be really really good with it this is the only way that will push you forward dramatically with your results then the next time you will see the setup on your screen 
you know that this stock has just entered your territory and you are the king of this domain you are the master of this castle you are controlling everything thank you thank you all guys for being here with me and i'm staying here for any question you have Thanks, Scott. Um, all right, so Mahmoud is asking me if I can uh, send uh, the PowerPoint. So, um, Mahmoud, I'm, uh, uh, um, my really uh, prefer preference is that uh, just send me an, an email and any one of you that want to get this presentation, just send me right now an email and I'll get back to you with uh, the presentation. Um, Phyllis, um, where we start to count from, you don't really need to count. You don't really need to count because as I explained, it doesn't matter if it's an NL7, NL6, and NL5. All you want to see is a contraction, a contraction in the volatility. And after a contraction in the volatility, you, usually you expect to see an, an expansion in the volatility. So you just need to understand the philosophy and the idea behind it, not really start to number the candles and to, uh, to, uh, to count them. All right, thank you, James, for your words. Thank you, Bogdan. Thank you, Matthew. Yes, the seven, the seven, uh, Matthew, the seven uh, in the NL7, the seven stands for the narrowest range bar within the last seven bars. All right. This is the most, uh, the most, um, uh, 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 the most extreme um, bar in its low volatility within uh, the last bars. Uh, Bal is asking me if I trade IPOs. Yeah, Bal, I was able to trade a couple of IPOs today. Actually, we should have six of them uh, today. All right, um, Seraphine is asking, how do you handle wicks that penetrate your stop point? Well, actually, Seraphine, I like this uh, uh, wicks, or let's call them uh, tails and not wicks, uh, because uh, that them th they let me get uh, they let me just close the position and take profits back home. And uh, for example, this tail just took me out of the position, so I'm using the tails. Usually, I'm using the tails in order to place my stops just uh, below them. Um, Joy may said you trade in another room. Yeah, I'm actually uh, leading the, our international room uh, every day, uh, which is another room, but it's all handled in uh, in Hebrew. All right, it's all in Hebrew, and this room is all in English. Um, Phyllis is asking, uh, uh, do we use a volume or any other indicator for confirmation? So yeah, you know, usually I want to get, uh, I want to get information. I want to to get more, uh, ins uh, more um, uh, insightful perspective and analysis on the on the trade using all kind of features as the view up, as pivot points, as round numbers, uh, any technical any technical structure any technical information and of course volume is part of it um suba is asking is this presentation going to be on youtube yeah probably it is all right but it will take about one week for it to go to get uh, online to go online Um, Django is asking what minute candle works the best. So you know, actually, you can uh, you can use it on any on any time frame. You really are not uh, you you are really not uh, minimized. Uh, you, you 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 are not. Any any time frame, any time frame. One minute, five minutes, fifteen minutes. You are not limited, all right? You are not limited by the time frame. 
Um, Patty, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, you know, we can pull up a, a chart from today and look for them and uh, please do it. All right, and uh, I'm here uh, to, 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 uh, to share it with you. So, you know, I'm just going uh, to bring my, uh, my charting software online and uh, you know, just give me symbols and let's look and try to spot them. And I can tell you that there is no one signal day that I'm not using this uh, setup. Let's try to find some of them today. Right, I'm just going to um, I'm just going to broadcast my screen. So just let me just let me know if you can uh, see my screen. All right. Alright, so in a minute, just want to broadcast my screen. And you know, this should be part of your toolbox, part of your toolbox when it comes to trading. Okay, let me know if you can see my screen. All right, can you see my screen right now? All right, so I, I, I just set the time frame to a five minutes chart and here we can see Under Armour. Under Armour, from the retail space. All right, this is UA. And by the way, I'm not uh, pulling out a, a UA by chance. Uh, on uh, on our um, on the on our daily on our uh, daily report, uh, UA uh, was mentioned here in the earning calendar today. So you can see that for Thursday, before market opening, Under Armour should um, raise its earnings. So this is why I uh, followed UA today as one of my uh, as one of my candidates for today. So as we can see, it starts the day with a sharp uh, gap up, and this is exactly the WRB, the wide range bars. We are looking for a pullback. So this is a very very nice pullback, and just look how uh, we see uh, along this pullback a, con a contraction in the volume all right the volume is going down and this is exactly what i want to see i don't want to see the sellers are getting a, a, any motivation you know I, I just when the volume is going down it tells me that the pullback here is nothing more than a profit taking here what we can see nr7 this is the narrowest range bars uh, uh, the narrowest range bar in this day and actually that tells me um, the stock, uh, the, the pullback is just about to finish and we are going to see a reversal. By the way, um, the range of this bar is about 40 cents because uh, today UA is quite volatile, but it doesn't matter if it's 40 cents or 4 cents. Uh, you know, you are just uh, risking a fixed amount of dollars, so it doesn't really uh, matter. Um, you are taking uh, any amount of shares you can take, depends on the risk amount of dollars you are willing to take into this uh, trade uh, your uh, action your uh, buy should be uh, above uh, 6650 uh, and right now the stock is above 6950 that gives you more than 40 uh, uh, 4 dollars on 30 cents uh, on 30 cents uh, risks that is more than 10 to 1 risk to reward ratio all right if you want we can uh, uh, explore a couple, a couple of uh, 
let's look on other charts let's start to explore more this is nice 1ks alright by the way here you have an NR7 here you have an NR7 but that comes at the top of the range and where this is an uptrend so uh, when this is an uptrend I don't uh, this NR7 uh, can give give me a, an opportunity or a signal just to uh, take profits out it doesn't going to it, it, it's not it doesn't it, it shouldn't it gives me an, a signal to initiate a trade here all right because we want to go with the trend not against the trend but i can use them as part of my exit uh, strategy all right if you have any any other examples for today and you know i bet there are quite a few of them um phyllis is asking how do you get the daily report so if you don't get the daily report another a, a, j just email me and i'll tell you how you can get the daily report no problem about that yeah the stop party the pa the stop is the bottom of the nr7 candle exactly and the opposite for short Uh, Matthew, of course, that if uh, the eighth bar is the narrowest range, it's valid. So don't think it as as number. Uh, don't try to number them, because the N if you have an NR8 or NR9, these are much better than NR7. And you know, it l l and part of the time you are going also to find NR20. That's all fine. You just need to understand that uh, at the end of a direction at uh, the end of a movement we usually are seeing a contraction in the momentum that leads to draw that leads the chart to draw us narrow range bars nrb like we see right now actually all right these are nrb on ua that is telling me that uh, right now the stock is at extreme and i can expect a pullback i don't want to initiate any short on that because this is will be against the trend but if i'm long ua or if i'm long after this uh, narrow range a uh, bar i can just use the next narrow range at the uh, at the other edge to get out of the stock as uh, use it as an exit strategy all right, Mahmoud uh, asking me to play, to put soda on the chart. Uh, wow. All right, soda. Great. All right, great. Um, by the way, when we see this kind of expansion, this kind of momentum, great momentum that is getting into this the stock, uh, this is another strategy I'm calling fast forward. And you can understand by its name why I called it fast forward. Everything is moving really, really fast here on the chart. Uh, but again, this is something, uh, this is another thing uh, we can, uh, we are going to learn in another webinar. Um, you know, what I would suggest you to do right now, um, Mahmoud, is to go to, um, a, to, to a narrower time frame go to one minute chart because right now the volatility on five minute chart is just logged so you want to unlock the volatility by going into a deeper time frame like the one minute chart and try to spot a reversal here all right so this is the other um this is on soda what we can see is just the other side of the nrb these are the wrb wide range bars um, Matthew uh, is taking me back to UA and look at 9.45, all right, 9.45, all right, yeah, um, it was narrow, but it didn't reverse, what I'm missing, you are not missing anything, anything, Matthew, it didn't reverse, first of all, uh, one of, uh, one of the thing uh, I want, uh, you know, when we see an uptrend and we are looking for a pullback now these two bars 
does not fall under the category or under the definition, my definition, as a pullback. In order to find a pullback, I want to see at least two red bars. And the, and the definition of these two red bars uh, 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 says that I want a second, the second two bar to finish below the low of the first red bar. So this is the red bar, all right? Maybe a correction starts right now, but the next red bar does not finish, does not complete, does not close below the low of the first red bar. So this cannot be designated as the second red bar. And again, I need to see at least two red bars that goes against the major momentum, the up momentum here. Only the third red bar is actually designated as the second red bar, and that tells me we are in a correction from this bar, the second red bar, I can now start uh, to, um, to search for an NR7 for a reversal. All right, um, James asking how about Logi at 10 a.m. Let's go to Logi. All right, great. This is a great example. And as you can see, this is the wide range bar, WRB, the first five minute scandle at the start of the day. By the way, Logi uh, has delivered its earnings earlier this morning. And this is why we can see this stock going up 15%. Um, the next bar, the second bar is the narrow range bar. And again, I don't want to use this narrow range bar to initiate any short position because this is against a sharp momentum, a sharp up momentum, all right? But if I'm in a trade, I can use it as an exit point. Uh, here we can see more than two bars, two red bars, and exactly around the 10 o'clock, uh, these are the narrow range bars. This is a great opportunity to use this setup to go long on uh, the stock. So on this example, actually, uh, you have uh, the range of these bars is only five, five cents. So all you are risking is only five cents. And from uh, 1522, the stock is up 20 cents. So although it's 20 cents, you know, it's not something huge. When you are considering that you are risked only five cents, you should go with thousands of stocks into this uh, into this a uh, a trade, and after twenty cents, have your basket full with money. All right, great, uh, great uh, example, James. What about Hot? Mahmoud is asking. By the way, Hot is the company of Starwood Hotels. Absolutely, you know what is Starwood Hotel. Uh, I think Sheraton is part of this hotel chain. Yeah, it's going down. You know, what I really would like to see on HOT is a pullback, back to the view up, maybe 18.1, and on the, around the view up, just to have a narrow range bar. All right, to give me an understanding that the pullback is at its end, all right, uh, th th that the pullback actually um, has done what it has done and it's all over and the stock is ready to get back to the downtrend. Chrissy. Telling us about a solar city, SCTY, looking to short under 7110. All right, you know, you can short it uh, uh, below 7110, but I think you are going against against a truck at full motion. Do you, want, you don't want to get against truck at full motion. You know, the momentum here is up. A lot, lot of WRB, wide range bars, Look on the momentum, look on the it's spiking the volume. So what you really want to, to look is just to hunt for the stock. Just, uh, you know, uh, lie on the ground, let the stock get uh, a little bit uh, backwards, 
maybe to 70, 62, this is one of the pivot points levels. There you want to have a narrow range bar and to get on board, all right? But you want to initiate here a long position, not a short position. This will increase your probability. Let's look on GMCR, David. All right, great, great example, actually, um, uh, David, GMCR. Um, <laughs> this is spike upwards. Now the stock getting back, uh, getting back uh, to, the, to the start of this momentum, to the level it starts at this uh, momentum. Um, if you are going at the, at the end of this five minutes candle to have a narrow range bar, you can try to, you can start, you can open a, a, a long position above this candle, but you just need to wait for this bar to end. But this may be designated as a narrow range bar. Right now, this is a very narrow range bar against the, the recent bars. All right, guys, thank you very much for being here with me. I'm uh, moving uh, the microphone back to, to Chris. Uh, b b b back to Scott and uh, hopefully you are going uh, to use this technique and I wish you all a great trading day.